Is that one of those gritty, tough wins you need to, to, to for growth? Because if we're being honest, it wasn't pretty. And they're not all going to be pretty. But is that one you can grow with? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was tough, but we were able to get it done. So I think that's the the mindset right now. You know, we didn't play the way, the way we wanted to, but we were able to get it done at the end. Um. You've got, I think, two more stretches where you play three games in five five days. Are you glad to have this one over? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been a grind having uh, three games in uh, five days. So, I mean, we can definitely feel in our bodies. But, I mean, we got a quick turnaround with Central Michigan. So, I mean, it's kind of just like the MAC tournament. So, it's just preparing us, honestly, for March. Why was it so tough for you guys to get going offensively, do you think? Uh, just not not playing with pace, really. Not making it hard on them to defend. That was really about it. That was kind of the difference between, you know, last game and this game. But every game is different, obviously. Like, Eastern Michigan has a great size. You know, Bowling Green didn't have that. So, obviously, like, you know, things just are different every game. And uh, we just got to do a better job of, you know, uh, seeing those things early on in the game and uh, doing what we need to do to score and get easy buckets. You guys held them to 15 second-half points. Was did you, did you did you get a sense that the game was going to be won on the defensive side of the ball the way way things the way the flow of the game was going? Uh, no, I think sometimes some things are out of our control. So if it ends on the defensive end, we just got to be able to execute and you know try to win the game on that side of the on that side of the court. What you guys kind of saw that you changed at halftime? Uh, both of you guys can answer this. Uh. I'll go first. Uh, just coming out more, I mean, with uh, playing more physical. I mean, uh, just getting more stops, talking, like just all that kind of factored into uh, us holding them to 15 points in the second half, just coming together and, you know, realizing that it was a low-scoring game and that, you know, we needed to win the game on the defensive end and rebound. Yeah. I think uh, pretty much piggyback of what he was saying, I think for sure physicality and size. Um, I think we, uh, for me personally, and. I don't know if Ali feels the same way. We kind of struggle to finish in a sense. So I think going into the second half, you know, we kind of readjusted our game and really uh, understood how to finish with that size and starting to rebound a little bit better. Through the, the week where you played three games in all different styles, how are you guys learning by winning through these different styles, knowing that you're going to have to play some of these teams, if not all of them, again? Um, I think the... Um, I think we do a good job of preparation trumps pressure, so we do a good job preparing for each team. I think throughout the week that's something we've kind of focused on in the last three days is kind of taking a break off our bodies but also mentally being prepared for each game and how different it could be and how in a one-game setting, you know, if we don't play how we need to play, you know, there's chances of we take an L, so. Is there something to be said, and it sound, may sound stupid, but is there something to be said uh, playing at home as opposed to maybe on the road where you have these real tight games at home and then you go on the road and, you know, like what happened Thursday and things just are easier for you? Uh, I mean, definitely playing at home, like having the crowd on your side helps. I mean, you know, hearing the Akron fans and the Zips and everyone like encouraging us and just screaming and yelling during the game, like today it was just fun, like towards the end of the game hearing all that. So it definitely helps, but I think like, you know, we kind of have like the road warrior mentality to like, if we go to BG, if we go anywhere on the road to the MAC, like we're coming to win, like no matter what. So, I think each each uh, like home and away has like its own uh, obstacles and stuff like that. But uh, I'd like to ask either, either one can answer. Um, just kind of you guys both played with C Jack last year. Um, now Xavier's coming into his own. Just talk about his leadership and presence that he brings uh, to the floor when he's out there with you guys. I mean, he's getting better for us, you know, every day. You know, it's not easy to transfer, you know, mm -hmm. all the way from Florida and come up yeah. here to Akron, Ohio with everything and then also learning a whole new system and stuff like that. But he's pretty smart and, you know, he can shoot the ball pretty well too. I mean, he can do certain things. He brings us certain things C-Jack didn't and C-Jack obviously brought us certain things that like kind of nobody can bring, I guess, in a sense with his height and his skill level. But he's doing a good job, you know, just being a leader and uh, just making the right reads and stuff like that and helping us on both sides of the ball. Yeah, to add on what you're saying, I think for sure, 
you know, I think with the point guard and the five, the one and the five, you got to have a good relationship and understanding the offense and the defense. I think we're getting to that point where we're kind of, it's second nature, so we're building. And then lastly, defensively, from what kind of transpired at BG now to here with that kind of back down to the under 40, under 50 points, are, are you guys seeing the defense where you guys want it to be? Like moving forward for this year? I think tonight it wasn't where we wanted it to be, but I think going forward, I think every game kind of takes us a step forward. You know, I think we have the ability to, you know, one game said, be very elite defensively, and I think we're building to do that every game. And I think we're getting better at every every time. And also, I think we're getting better at different defenses on us, like how they scout us, how they. They choose to, like tonight, they doubled you one or two times. How are, we, how are we gonna adjust to that? I think we're getting better at understanding what's coming at us and also coming at them.